Alright guys, now I have it in 1080p, 30 frames per second with the anti-shake turned off. Let's see how that turns out when we turn it back on. Now this is what the anti-shake does when shooting 1080p in 30 frames per second low light. Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Um, you're probably knowing, wondering how, why is it so windy out here? Well, it's because it is windy. I got this thing set in 1080p 30 frames per second with anti-shake 1.0 turned on. So this is a, a, just a little walking test of the image stabilization on this camera. Well, We'll stop here, and we'll pan left, and then we will pan right, and now we're going to jog, do a little jog, see what the stabilization is like. And also on this camera, I'm also going to do a little bit of an audio test with the internal plus the external mic. So this is what the internal mic sounds like. Audio test 1, 2, 3. Audio test 1, 2, 3. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the external mic that is included with the camera. We'll be right back. This is what the external mic audio sounds like. Audio test 1, 2, 3. Audio test 1, 2, 3. Now I still got the anti-shake 1.0 turned on just to keep things nice and smooth. So how does that look and how's video quality in this really low resolution? It will crank out 4K but I don't really think it's 30 FPS. I think it's 4K 25 frames per second like the Acaso EK7000 and EK7000 Pro that has it. But the image stabilization is still pretty good. As you can probably see. And we're going to go back this way. And yeah. So that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a great Friday the 13th. Be careful out there. Pretty much, yeah.